very warm welcome to all of you myself professor nagri ss from kg somaya college kopargaon in this lecture number second we are going to study some new topics from the chapter crystal structure the topics which we are going to study in this lecture are the crystal systems the crystal properties and the third important point is the bravais lattices so these three points we are going to study in this lecture so first of all we are going to study the important point the crystal systems in the last lecture we studied what is mean by the crystal line compounds what is mean by the amorphous compounds what are the difference between these two compounds now in this lecture we have to study what are the different crystal systems so there are 230 crystal forms possible and practically all have been observed so if we take into consideration the total possible forms of the crystal so that are 230 crystal forms these 230 crystal forms are grouped into 32 classes if we group these 230 forms they are grouped into the 32 classes now these 32 classes are based upon on the basis of intercepts on the axis and axial angles they are further classified into seven fundamental crystal systems so if we take into consideration the total crystal forms possible is equal to 230 this 230 crystal forms are, are again grouped into 32 classes and again on the basis of the intercepts on axis and axial angles these 32 classes are again classified into the seven fundamental crystal systems so we can say that commonly we use the word seven fundamental crystal systems so these 230 forms are distributed among these seven fundamental crystal systems now the question arises what are these seven fundamental crystal systems so there are the seven different type of this crystal systems start from cubic system tetragonal system orthorhombic system this monoclinic system rhombohedral system hexagonal system and triclinic system so these are seven systems are called as the seven fundamental crystal systems now each and every these fundamental seven fundamental system has a fixed intercepts ratio on the axis as well as they have a fixed axial angles they have the fixed value of these maximum symmetry crystal forms and crystal class so we can look towards this system one by one so the first system of this crystal system is nothing but the cubic system so this system has the axis intercepts as a equal to b equal to c and having a axial angles alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree so if such a type of the intercepts ratio and axial angle is there that system is called as the cubic system so here is the figure for this cubic system the three sides of this system a is equal to b is equal to c and all the axial angles are equal to the 90 degree now this system has the maximum symmetry as nine plane of symmetry 13 axis of symmetry and crystal forms is equal to 36 and crystal class is equal to 5 the important examples of this cubic system is nacl kcl crystals alums and diamond so all these compounds show the cubic system the second important system is the tetragonal with axis a equal to b not equal to c and axial angles alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree so this is a figure for this tetragonal crystal system having five plane of symmetry five axis of symmetry and 68 crystal forms and seven crystal class the important examples are titanium oxide that is a rutile structure zirconium that is a zircon then cassiterite that is a stannous oxide so these are the some examples of tetragonal system so in in this way we can say that each and every system has a fixed value for this axis intercepts along a different axis as well as their axial angles they have the fixed value of this maximum symmetry crystal forms and crystal class now these are their respective figures for these crystal systems this orthorhombic this is monoclinic rhombohedral this is a hexagonal and this is a triclinic now if we add together all the maximum symmetry this crystal forms and this crystal class so what happens this crystal forms obtained in the nature is equal to 230 so we can say that this 230 has such a type of the distribution among these seven fundamental crystal systems 
as well as this 32 is nothing but the crystal class so this 32 is again distributed among the various fundamental crystal systems so this is a overview of the crystal systems their different types their axis and axial angle ratio the next important point is nothing but the crystal properties as far as the any type of the crystal of a compound is to be considered what type of the properties is associated with that particular crystal so that we have to study so the first important property of a crystal is isotropic and anisotropic substances now what do you mean by isotropic and anisotropic so let us look towards them one by one the first is the isotropic substances the substances showing the properties like refractive index electrical conductivity thermal conductivity solubility independent of the direction of measurement are called as the isotropic substances so if we consider the substances which shows some properties like refractive index electrical conductivity thermal conductivity solubility so that is independent upon the direction of measurement so if we take these properties at any direction we get the same type of the results that's why these type of the substances are called as the isotropic substances now what are the examples so the amorphous substances all the amorphous substances shows isotropic properties then gases and liquids so these are the important examples of isotropic substances the second important type is a anisotropic substances the substances showing the properties like refractive index electrical conductivity thermal conductivity solubility different in a different direction are called as the anisotropic substances now in this case of this anisotropic substances the properties which we measure are direction dependent if we change the direction of measurement we get the different results for the properties like refractive index electrical thermal conductivity solubility so these substances are called as the anisotropic substances the important examples are silver iodide structure then hexagonal crystal of ice so these are the important examples for this anisotropic substances the next important property of a crystal is polymorphism now what is by polymorphism the property of a solid substance to exist in two or more crystalline forms is called as a polymorphism if we consider a given solid substance and if that solid substance has a tendency or a property to exist in a two or more crystalline forms then this phenomena is called as the polymorphism for example consider here sulfur can exist in a two different forms one is a rhombic sulfur second is a monoclinic sulfur this carbon is again obtained in a two different forms diamond is there graphite is there in a similar way this calcium carbonate has a two different forms calcite and aragonite now the polymorphism in elements is called as allotropy as far as the polymorphism in a individual element is to be considered it is called as the allotropy so in this case of sulfur this rhombic sulfur and a monoclinic sulfur is nothing but the allotropes of sulfur in a similar way the diamond and graphites are called as the allotropes of the carbon so in case of the single elements this polymorphism is to be termed as allotropy each polymorphic form is stable at particular temperature and pressure range if we take into consideration the stability of these particular polymorphic forms of a substance that can be stable at a particular temperature value and pressure value so it has the fixed temperature and pressure value the transformation of one polymorphic form into another takes place at a fixed temperature which is called as the transition temperature or transition point if there is a transformation transformation of polymorphic form one polymorphic form into the another polymorphic form this type of the transformation transformation is possible only at a fixed temperature and that fixed temperature is called as the transition temperature or it may be called as a transition point so this is a second important property of a crystal systems after studying these properties of a crystal the next important point is the bravis lattices and structure of crystals according to postulates of crystallography any macroscopic crystal of a substance is built up by repetition and by extension in all directions of a fundamental structural unit which is called as the unit crystal lattice or space group so according to the postulates given by the crystallography if we want to study the formation of any macroscopic crystal of a system of a substance how it get form so it will be it will it get form by the addition repetitive addition and by extension in all directions 
by the fundamental structural unit and that fundamental structural unit of a particular crystal of a substance is called as the unit crystal lattice or it may called as the space group so this unit crystal lattice or space group added together in a repeated manner by some ordered arrangement in all possible directions to form a macroscopic crystal of a substance the seven fundamental crystal systems gives 14 basic arrangements which are known as the space lattice or brevis lattices we know the seven fundamental crystal systems so these seven fundamental crystal systems gives the 14 basic arrangements the yeah? 14 basic arrangements are given by these seven fundamental crystal systems and which are known as the space lattices or brevis lattices now what are that 14 basic arrangements so let us look towards this particular table in which the seven fundamental crystal system is there their number of space lattices are given and the number of space groups are given so first system is a cubic system in which the number of space lattices are equal to 3 while the crystal forms is equal to 36 for tetragonal it gives the two number of space lattices while the 68 crystal forms are possible for orthorhombic crystal system four number of space lattices is there while 59 crystal forms are there for hexagonal crystal system the one number of space lattices is there while the 27 crystal forms is there for rhomboedral the number of lattices is equal to 1 while 25 crystal forms is there for monoclinic two crystal uh, space lattices is there and 13 crystal forms is there for triclinic only one space lattice is possible while the two crystal forms is there so if we add together all the space lattices of this seven fundamental crystal systems it is to be equal to 14 and this 14 is nothing but the brevis lattices which is called as the 14 basic arrangements there is a space lattices or brevis lattices while if we add together all these crystals forms of a seven fundamental crystal systems that is to be equal to the 230 and this 230 is nothing but the all possible crystals forms which we studied in the initial slide now the 14 base lattices what are the structure of this 14 basis basic lattices that we have to study so for this purpose if we look towards this particular table it gives the total 14 brevis lattices possible for all seven fundamental crystal systems their structure and their names and this second figure gives the idea regarding the types of the different space lattices so first system we consider here for our convenience is a cubic crystal system so this cubic crystal systems has three different space lattices which are to be called as primitive second is a body centered third is a face centered for this tetragonal two brevis lattices are possible for orthorhombic it is a four numbers are possible for hexagonal only one space lattice is possible for rhomboidal is again one and for monoclinic the two space lattices are possible while for triclinic only one space lattice is possible and this total numbers are equal to 14 so it is called as a 14 brevis lattices now what is in by primitive what is by body center what is in by face center so let us look towards the all these space lattices for this cubic system so the first space lattice is possible for cubic system is called as the simple cubic or it may called as a primitive lattice that is sc denoted by the capital p so in this a space lattice is what happens the constituent atoms or molecules or ions in a crystal are present at the corner of the cube this is the corner of the cube so this black dot indicate the locations of atoms ions or molecules so this is a location of these atoms ions that is constituents particles in present in this crystal so in this simple cubic they are present only at the corner of the cube so that particular arrangement is called as the simple cubic lattice the second possible type is body centered cubic lattice now what is by body centered cubic lattice in addition to atom molecules present at the every corner of the cube one more atom or ion is present at the center of this particular cube then such a type of the arrangement is called as the body centered cubic lattice and the last one type is a face centered cubic lattice now what is by face centered cubic lattice in addition to the atom molecules or ions at the corner of the cube the two more constituents are present at the opposite face a pair of opposite face so that particular arrangement is called as the face centered cubic lattice so these are the three space lattices possible for this crystal system so in this way for all the remaining particular crystal systems the different number of space lattices are possible 
and that all are collectively called as the 14 space lattices or it may called as the 14 Davis lattices. So in this lecture, we focus on the different crystal systems, the crystal properties, what is mean by the space lattices or what mean by the 14 Davis lattices, what are the types of this space lattices for different fundamental crystal systems and what are the total numbers. So all that things we can study here in this lecture. Now the remaining point from this chapter we will study in the next lecture. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon in order to get the notification for the upcoming important video lectures. So with this I stop here. Thank you. Thank you so much.